Hey everyone, it's Jilly. Today we'll be making chicken and rice, also known as arroz con pollo, also known as arroz con pollo, whatever you want to call it. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite dishes and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get started. I'm using chicken legs. You may use chicken thighs if you prefer or a combination of both. I prepared my own seasoning with a bunch of different spices which I'll share down at the description box below. I sliced a couple slits on the chicken and we're only going to use half of the seasoning on the chicken. The rest will save for the rice. And now when it comes to burgers and steaks, I just season it with salt and pepper but when it comes to chicken, I just can't. I love to season my chicken well and by well I mean well. I am using half of an orange and half of a lime. My family does not do it this way. I don't know anyone who seasons their chicken and rice with citrus. This is not authentic chicken and rice. This is authentic chicken and rice a la Julie. Now you may refrigerate your chicken for a minimum of one hour or you can leave it overnight. And since I got so many nice comments on my bowl, I decided to keep him around. Poor thing. Let your chicken sit at room temperature for a couple of minutes. Don't take it straight out of the fridge to the frying pan. If you fry cold chicken, the meat on the outside will dry up. I'm using vegetable oil. Try not to use olive oil. Olive oil burns quickly. Okay, so I cooked the chicken for about five minutes total. You just want to brown the outside. Then I removed it and I threw in my shallots, green bell peppers, and garlic. Gave everything a stir. I'm going to deglaze the pan with some dry white wine. My mother prefers beer over dry white wine. Again, that comes to one's preference. You may use beer, dry white wine, or chicken stock. It's up to you. I placed my chicken back into my Dutch oven, gave everything a toss. I poured in the tomato sauce. I poured in some water. Use chicken stock if you have some. Gave everything a mix. Throw in your leftover spices two bay leaves, give everything a mix, and check for seasoning. This little sazon envelope is optional, I usually add it. Let this come up to a boil and then add your washed rice. You want to cook it on high heat for about 10 minutes, then you want to cover it and let it simmer on low heat for an additional 20 minutes or so. Do not stir your rice until it is completely finished. My rice is all done cooking, I gave it a stir threw in my peas and you want the peas to warm up a bit which they will with the heat of the rice some cilantro another way I love to cook this is with shredded chicken breast that's a delicious way as well I will share that recipe in the future I just had to give this a try okay I had more than just a try it was really good here I was just wondering if it tasted better than my mom's of course it did I'm kidding I hope you guys really give this recipe a try I want to thank you for letting me share my version of this amazing dish with you guys and I want to thank you guys so much for watching